I am welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. Uh, we've been experiencing some crazy weather here in southern Manitoba, so we're looking forward to a little bit of springtime in the next little while. We're so glad you've joined us today and trust that you'll hit the like button, hit the share button so others can see this as well. Yesterday in church, I spoke about the transfiguration of Jesus Christ, where Jesus literally was changed before the eyes of Peter, James, and John. Um, he was changed from his ordinary human self, the way they saw him every day, to where they saw him in his majesty and his glory as no one had ever seen him before. Uh, according to the scriptures, uh, the Bible says that his face changed, it glowed, it radiated with God's presence. His very clothes shone, and uh, Mark describes it as whiter than any bleach could ever uh, whiten it. And uh, I love that description, it's so very human. Uh, how would you describe God in all his glory? This is uh, uh, the scriptures trying to describe Jesus as no one has ever seen him before until that point in time. And of course, in the process, he's talking to Moses and Elijah, like, wow, this is incredible. And uh, this had to be incredible for the disciples who saw this. Many years later, in 2 Peter chapter 1, Peter describes this experience that he had. Let me read it for you. It's in chapter 1, verse 16. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory saying, this is my son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with them on the sacred mountain. Wow, many years after it happened, Peter is still talking about his experience where he saw Jesus in all his glory and all his majesty. You know, yesterday in church, we began our service by with a recording uh, of an old song that used to be very popular. It said, Majesty, worship his majesty. Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, worship his majesty. Kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own, his anthem raise. So exalt, lift up the name of Jesus. Majesty, come glorify Jesus the King. Majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified King of all kings. You know, some people need to get a fresh revelation of Jesus Christ as the majestic one. Yes, he's our friend that sticks closer than our brother. He's always comforting. He's always there for us. But he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus, yes, promises to be our strength, and he promises to be our comfort through all kinds of troubles. He will never leave us or forsake us. We get that. But he is still Lord over all sickness and death and disease. He's the creator and sustainer of all things. Just a word from his mouth uh, brings life into every situation. He is risen from the dead and he is Lord. And we need to be reminded of that. My prayer for you this week through Encouraging Word is that you would get a fresh glimpse of the majesty of Jesus Christ, that you would get a fresh glimpse of his glory through the things he said, through the things he did as we talk about the scriptures uh, this week. You know, some of you are facing troubles and difficulties. I get that. You live with worry and anxiety. Uh, like the disciples, you lock yourselves away from the rest of the world because of fear. And like the disciples, you need Jesus to step inside those areas of your life where, that you have locked away, those areas of life that you don't want to talk about because of the pain they bring. Uh, Jesus wants to step into those areas and he wants to bring life and healing and light into those areas. He is Lord. You know, like Isaiah in the Old Testament, uh, we need to see the Lord high and lifted up, his train filling the temple. There's no room for anything else. There's no room for fear and worry and anxiety and anger or anything else we bring to the table. When Christ comes into the room, his presence fills the room and there's no room for anything else. And we need that. Um, 
God wants you to experience his presence. He wants you to experience his joy. His presence will fill your life, believe me. Some of you have experienced that before. And for some of you, it's been a long time since you've really been reminded of the glory of Jesus Christ and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Exalt him, lift up on high the name of Jesus. That's what my prayer for you is this week. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you love us and you care for us. Thank you, God, so much that you stick closer than a brother and you are our friend and are the one who always is with us. But Lord, you're the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God, everything bows before you. Every sickness, every disease, every fear, every level of anxiety, every bit of anger, all has to come under your submission. And so even now today, God, we kneel before you. If not physically, certainly in our hearts, we come before you and we surrender our lives to you once again as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I pray for every person that's watching today. Father, may they get a fresh glimpse of your glory, of your majesty today. Father, we thank you for your love and we thank you for your care for us. But Lord God, we see you seated on the throne, high and lifted up, and we praise you today. We exalt you. We lift up the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you so much for your goodness to us. Thank you for Jesus, your son, who loves us and cares for us. We pray your blessing on every person that watches today. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch this. I appreciate it. Again, uh, if you have a chance to hit the like button, hit the share button so others can see this as well. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.